Hey everyone, it's me, Hot Dog Wally, uh, showing off my room tour 2020. Wally here, and I hope you're having a good day. If it's today, it's time for drumroll, da 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 da. Waltopias. Animal Crossing New Horizon House till July 2020. Very long, and before we get started, yes, I am a hot dog. Get it? All right. Anyway, let's get let's get on to this. Let's get on to this. This is my living room, right? And I decked it out. I changed it. I will leave a, uh, a link to my last home tour in the description so you can check out and look at the differences between last time and this time. As you can see, the entire front room is different. I have this more modern approach to it. I combined a living room aesthetic with an office area as well as the entire side kitchen all into one. I wanted to really have all those nestled in right when you come in. You have places to interact with. You have music, you have a work branch, but you also have a nice snazzy little computer when it's time to play games, maybe, maybe do a little bit of work. I don't know why I have so much paper. It's just means I'm slacking on getting them to where they need to be or filing them properly. But every house needs an aromatherapy uh, diffuser. This is really nice, really snazzy. Got a lot of things to interact with, including the refrigerator if I want to change my outfit, but I am not changing my snazzy hot dog outfit for the next 10 years. Of course, there's a lounge area with a television. I really like the black and white aesthetic going here. I try to find as many items as I can to do that. The top of the wall though, uh, you know, well I should say add on the top of the wall, look at the two hats. Again, the black and white alternating when I can. And of course, this main room has all of my awards or the majority of my awards, I should say, from the HHA, from different, uh, you know, um, events they had in this game. I believe that was the stamp quest that gave me all these freaking, what's it called, uh, awards that you can see uh, on the top of the screen. They line the top. So I needed somewhere to put all of them. There you go. That's how we do it. You see all those? They're on like every side or at least three sides of this room. It's pretty crazy. I love this print, this octopus print. Definitely have to keep it. Let's go here. Let's move on to our next room. Here we are, room number two, and of course it is my bathroom. This has changed quite a lot, I believe. I would, I'm gonna have to go check back my own, uh, my, my previous house tour in order to see the difference because I know I changed a lot. I have this really cool his and hers sinks over here for, 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 you know, me. And then, you know, my spouse over here could do her makeup and everything. So it's pretty cool, pretty awesome. I really wanted to find a place to use this bell uh, rug. And I thought this would be the coolest place to put it. I really don't have an overarching theme for this other than bathroom. <laughs> bathroom is the theme for my uh, bathroom, of course. But I like what I have going on here. It's, you know, this wasn't by... I didn't plan it to have that same black and white aesthetic. So I may redo this in the future. But for right now, it's pretty snazzy. This is probably my standout. I think I paid a pretty penny for this at uh, Tom Nook. Nook's cranny in order to get this. Purple, I wish they had more colors. Uh, you know, the light, uh, let me turn off the lights to show you. So lights off, there you go. So that is a lighted little indoor pool and it does its job. It's, it, it lights up, it, it, it looks like it's really cool to go in. And of course we have a scale uh, to weigh ourselves, uh, a washing machine, pretty neat. So now that we've done this one, I think it's time to start moving on to the more interesting aspects of my house. All right, are you ready? Let's go into this side room. And here we are. This is my pride and joy. This is my arcade room. And I always keep the light off. I always keep the light off. I always keep the lights off. Because even the wallpaper generously donated by my spouse is a server room wallpaper that you can see it's animated. That is the coolest thing that I've ever seen. I love the animated wallpapers in New Horizons, but specifically for my room, this really does set off the vibe I was going for. I have the nice arcade cabinets. You can play these fake Street Fighter clones or Gradius uh, shooting clones uh, or asteroids or whatever the heck that game is. There's two Nintendo Switches. I have my 15,000 bell golden salmons, golden trouts, one of those right underneath. I have nice lights. There's a really cool pinball machine and these two slot machines plus the dart board. I mean, you can do, you can have so many hours of fun in this room. Just playing around, chilling, relaxing, hanging out, playing with these electric lamp things. It's just so cool. I love trying to stuff as much brightly lit objects in the room. As you can see, I even put two fireflies that I caught in the last couple months over here. So I'm really enjoying this. I wish there, 
I wish there is a rug that glows because that's the last thing I think I really want to put in here is a nice rug right here. I mean, it doesn't have to, but I like how it looks right now. But if there is a glowing rug, let me know in the comments because I will definitely add that to here or any other objects that you think that can go in here, maybe along the wall, you know, at the, the top area. I Maybe I can or over here uh, against this wall where this server wallpaper is. Just leave any other, you know, objects that I may not have in here. And uh, I would love to hear about that. But for now, let's go on to my other side room, which is uh, pretty red. And by pretty red, I mean this room is super red. Introducing my red room. This is my pride and joy. Another one of my pride and joys. The arcade is definitely the standout. But this room, I was like, you know what? I was looking through my storage and I was just flipping through all these pages and seeing uh, what I had. And eventually I noticed I had just so many red objects and some black objects that I thought would go well with each other. Look at this nice flooring. Look at my wallpaper. It looks like I am in some sort of insulated room and that is why I even created a little place in order to do YouTube videos. Look, hey everyone, it's me, Hot Dog Wally, uh, showing off my room tour 2020. And so I can go ahead and do that here. Oh, let me get off this and sleep in this nice looking ornate or regal whatever you want to call it uh bed big size i even have a nice like 40 50 inch red flat screen television on this really cool looking dresser i mean everything is awesome i love the little two green flowers that i put in here the skull um the skull was it called music player right over there the hat above the entryway and of course the uh, laptop because i have to have access to you know communication and internet no matter where i am but my red room, that's what I call it. It's really cool. I have interactivity such as changing my wardrobe over there or changing, uh, you know, changing my outfit as well as changing how I look. So there is some cool things you can do in here as well. This is crazy. Uh, my spouse thought this was a locker, but that's just a refrigerator. If I was like, oh, it looks cool in here. There's no reason a refrigerator should be in here unless I get hungry and snack at the end of the night. But my red room is very much uh, what's it called? I, I I have a lot of pride in this room just because it came together just so well and I was starting to pay, you know, piece things around. I had things I wanted to use like this camcorder, uh, this bed definitely, and then these two objects and my rugs because I've been collecting a lot of them from Sahara and just getting them and not really doing much with them. But uh, at the end of the day, I think um, Hot Dog Wally is very happy with what we came, you know, um, finished with what the end product looks like and now it's time for the final two locations in my house upstairs and downstairs let's start with upstairs and here we are upstairs in my master bedroom playroom office room fan room be it probably gets hot because there is no windows up here so i have two fans i'm blowing there's no real theme no real rhyme or reason uh as you may tell by just looking at it but it's just i wanted to stuff a lot of stuff in here it all started with the carpet below my feet uh, you know, maybe that's what I said in the, if I had the same carpet in the, the previous house tour, it definitely always starts with this carpet. I just love this carpet. I love the colors and I really wanted to just to go crazy in here, but I know I needed the kind of a simple wallpaper to go with it. And that's why I didn't do anything crazy with the wallpaper. I also wanted to be able to put some more intricate things on the wall, like this little rooster tapestry and this world map. So I need something simple in order to kind of, so it won't clash with everything else in the room because everything in the room is kind of clashy, but it also has, you know, each point has its own placement. I like the foosball table. That's really cool. A telephone, a safe, you know, you have to have those things. This is a nice, nice workbench uh, that a friend gave me. Uh, thank you. You are very awesome. And I am using it. I also have this really expensive music player. One of the first big purchases that I made in this game. I don't know if this is like a hundred thousand bells or whatever, but it's pretty, it's a pricey, it's a pricey penny definitely, or a pricey belly since pennies don't exist in this world. But I also wanted to put a couple more of my HHA, you know, uh, trophies up here and this, this bed and this wardrobe kind of match with each other. But really, I wasn't really looking for things that match. I just was looking for, let me see if I can get more points on my HHA every single week. I'm going to cross that 150 point barrier right now. I'm at about 129,000 S rank for my HHA, HHA. Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to stuff as much as I can. I'm going to put more on the walls. Definitely, I don't think I'm going to put any more objects in the in over here. But I feel like I'd be too cluttered. I'm the kind of person that really likes to be able to access the majority of items in a room so you can touch them, play with them, fill them, all that kind of jazz. But, uh, I, I, you know, as a time being, this is how it looks like. It's pretty much 
to completion as you know how I want it to look. I don't mind the randomness of this just because you know my other rooms like the red room is is all themed correctly and my main room is all themed correctly. So I can play a little around with this one, you know. And then as far as the basement, that is my secret. You want to see my secret? Okay, I'm going to show you right now. So are you ready for the creepiest secret? It's my creepy room. That's what I call it. As you see, there's very little on and this at this angle. I have a little bed. I have a little mat. It's all bamboo. Bamboo over here and Rover's luggage just in case I have to make a getaway. Kind of cool puzzle piece on the on the walls and a creepy little man that greets you. But when you look at the walls, it's my hit list. No. <laughs> of all the characters that did me wrong in this game. And one by one, I will take all of you down. Pearl, Stitches, Kid, uh, Angus, Marina, Goldie, Shari, Dom, Chrissy, and the rest. Because these are all my spouse's characters. And I don't really remember their names besides Hopper, Stu, I think the dude up in the top left, Keaton maybe? I don't know. Hazel is the girl with the unibrow. Boris is maybe that little guy up there. I have no idea. I guess a lot of their names, Sahara and of course Jack. I got some of these from the Amiibo, or I should say my spouse did and sent them to me. But I always joke around, it's like this is my hit, hit list room, where I'm like, I'm going to remember who did me wrong and who did me right and send you um, awful letters and uh, tell you what's what. But no, in reality, I just thought it was really, really cool to have a room where I'm going to put every single villager that I'm going to come across with and just to kind of remember them, like on this wall are all my villagers on the bottom. Uh, my first two villagers were Dom and Shari, and then quickly after Chrissy came. And then Marina was the first person I ever got off uh, from one of the island uh, visits that I did. And then Goldie came from an amiibo, and I believe Stitches did as well. And the rest just started to compile as time went on, and I decided to let people in and out. Hopper, I used to have him in my town, but Stu quickly replaced him. And then, I, like I said previously, all these people on this wall is from my spouse's village, uh, you know, and my, my best friend, she's sending me ones as well. So it's pretty cool just to, uh, you know, populate one room with all the characters that I have memories with, uh, if I'm being honest. But, you know, <laughs> I wanted to make it this creepy, like, look at this right when you come in. It's like, why do you have posters of all your villagers? Why do you have this uh, anatomy dude just staring right at you? I don't know. I just was making myself laugh at that. But in, like I said, in honesty, it's just a really cool concept. I have a lot of feelings so I can just remember everyone who I came in contact with. And I have a lot more space to go. I will definitely probably, definitely probably, right? Uh, I was thinking of, that's what I should say. I'm thinking about, you know, taking him out, you know, and just making a little bit more uh, comfortable in here. Maybe a lot more chairs or sofas or what, what have you. Uh, you know, just to make it a little bit more pleasing. But I kind of like, like, let me take him out right now. I kind of like just this look, right? Just this very simple kind of look. And the whole idea of this is just the posters, the people, the villagers. And that's what Animal Crossing is all about, is hanging out with your animal friends and just taking a load off and having fun and being creative and dressing up like a good old-fashioned hot dog. Get it? Pun intended. Let me know in the comments what you thought about my July 2020 Animal Crossing house tour extravaganza. Did you like it? Uh, did you not like it? Do you have any tips for me? Because I would love to know what you would do differently, or I would love to know what you're doing with your own village, your own home, and your rooms. And if you have any tips. I did a red room. Did you do a blue room? Do you do a black room, a yellow room, a green room? I would love to know all about that. Leave in the comments. I will read them like always. Thank you for joining the party. Thank you for listening to me ramble, and I'll see you in the next video.